morning everyone it's a beautiful 21 degrees celsius today look at that we might even have some rain after all that heat that would be marvelous we're just sitting outside here having our cuppa hoping your mum makes a showing hey eh? and we can let you go but uh it's looking really good really healthy really healthy I sure hope she comes mate or your dad I sure hope one of them comes all right let's go inside and have a look at these battery logs ah hello again we're inside now looking at the uh, logs for the off-grid system I tell you um, Heatwave survival when you're off grid, no problem at all, people. And uh, no shocking power bills that'll come and bite you later on. Okay, so this is the day. Let's get some perimeters in here before we start. Some state of charge, some diurnals, and we started the day on 66%. Okay, so let's go back to. Uh, let's quickly go down here, have a look at the logs. Okay, so let's go back to a 30th. Okay. All right, one more day. There we go. So this is the 29th last month, okay? This is just a baseline. So you can see uh, my baseline is 80% battery discharge uh, uh, over the full night time cycle. Uh, batteries, this is normal temperatures, normal days. Uh, batteries charge between 9 a.m. and 10 p.m. And down here, we've got the hot water system on. Um, no, just standard house loads with a couple of electric kettles chucked in there. Well, chucked in there. You can see those just quite plainly there. And um, now this is, had started to warm up here by the looks of it because you see, oh, no, that's probably normal. That's probably normal running. Yeah, that's probably, that's not an air conditioner. That's just normal running. We just stayed up really late that night. Okay, so let's go to the 30th. This is when it started to warm up. Okay, so we've got the 30th here. You can see we dropped down to 77%. Um, batteries, we were full by, yeah, between 9 and 10. 9.50 it says there. You can see it's a beautiful morning, no clouds. It's just a very steady rise until the batteries are full. Uh, again, the hot water system. And then we've turned on the small house air conditioner. And you can just see it running there. Then we turn the big one on for a little bit of time. And then you can see with the little ones running on and off, on and off. Then we go to normal conditions and then bed. Next day. Okay, the next day we started at 71% uh, batteries. And you can see again, it's a sunny, beautiful sunny day. Um, albeit warm, we were full by. Ten thirty, and you can see straight away we've got the hot water system, but we've also chucked in the little air conditioner on top of that, so that was already running, and that ran all the way through to midnight. Next day. Here we have the next day. You can see it's a, uh, a good sunny day, okay? There was absolutely no cloud. You can tell that in the power curve here. It's not when you've got clouds and you, you see dips in the power curve. Um, but we did get full to 12.55 because we were using such a lot of sunshine. But the batteries were still charging and putting the extra sunshine into them 
But uh, we were making excellent use of the sunshine on this day. You can just see, we got out of bed, bang, little air conditioner on. Hot water system, bang, big air conditioner on. All right, and we run the little air conditioner right up to midnight. <laughs> All right, and then we go to the next day, the second, and you can see our power dropped down to 54%. Uh, that's the little air conditioner in the house turning on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, because it's set, just set at a certain temperature. And you can see how cloudy it was this day, okay? It was like an oven trapping the heat under the clouds, okay? And you can see, the, the, the this is what I talk about. There's no steady power curve. It's just cloud, 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 cloud. We were getting some excellent cloud edge effects. Um, and we didn't get full to, what's that, 125? And you can see we've got the little air conditioner on. Then we've got the hot water service just there. Then we've got the big air conditioner cycling. Well, it stayed on for a while there, and then it started to cycle on and off as it got the house to temperature. And then you can see we run the little air conditioner, electric kettle just there. And we slowly made our way to bed. Okay, now we've got the third, which is today. If you look down the bottom here, you can see that quite clearly, the date and the time. And you can see, started the day at 66%. It's beautiful and cool outside. And uh, everything's back to normal. The little birds out there, we haven't seen any sign of its parents yet. As soon as we do, we'll open the cage and uh, keep an eye on it. Make sure its parents pick it up and um, we can find it um, if they don't pick it up. So... That's what we're doing out there. Let's go down and look at the logs. Okay, so we're going uh, back to the... There we go. So, so that's a normal day. On the 29th, I started showing us. Then we went to the 30th where it started to warm up. Then we went to the 31st. And you can see on that day there, the consumption was 26 kilowatt hours. Okay. Let's go to this month. Okay, so then we've got the first of the months down here. There we used 30, uh, 40 point one kilowatt hours and that inverter, because uh, that's the only one that's being counted right now, is used, brought in 37 kilowatts. But remember, we do have more solar on the other inverter. Okay, so... In total, we've probably got, well, we've got seven and a half kilowatt hours on one inverter and three kilowatt hours on the other inverter. So that's how much total kilowatt hours of solar we have. Um, and then yesterday, you can see we used 33.6 kilowatt hours. So we've really been using the power, people. Really, really been using the power. Okay, so... Um, Total Yeah, so so far this year we've used 613.7 kilowatt hours That seems a lot doesn't it and uh, Total last year since we've been counting it We've used 3.14 megawatt hours of power. All right, so let's just go up here. Uh, we've got this month as selected. So this is just this month. Self used 52.8 kilowatt hour. Production 52.8 kilowatt hour. Now, the beauty of this is let me explain how solar works, okay? All right, so uh, let's go back. Let's go back up here. Let's go back two days. One day, because then we've got a nice clear image. Two days. So we've got a beautiful clear image here, okay? Uh, in this, I don't know what color that is, brown or purple. No, it's pink or something. 
and then we've got this um, blue color and then we've got this deeper pink or brown or red or whatever it is here okay oh there it is up the top state of charge is the uh, light pink consumption is uh, I guess that's red and production is blue okay so let's have a look here so we start the morning off because there's no sun of a night time so we've been using the power out of the batteries to run our house okay and just to show you what it was running last night I've got to go back one more day just to explain there's a diurnal pattern so that's where the night time starts that's where the daytime that's where the morning starts that's where the night time starts and that's the whole day there okay and you can see I mean even after dark we've got that little air conditioner on okay and we go to the next page the little air conditioner is still on on automatic and they go yep I don't need to run anymore and then we come to the morning air conditioners on okay so the power we're using the power out of the inverter 24 hours a day now this is just one 24 hour period from from um, just past midnight to just before midnight or yeah it's got the times there from midnight to 23.59 and you can see we're really hammering the power but you can see what's happening here can't you it's okay the sun comes up boom the batteries are full albeit a bit later but look at the loads and look at the mirroring now remember all the solar isn't on here but the solar mirrors the loads okay so we're actually running off sunshine during the daytime pure and simple okay we're not taking anything out of the batteries we're putting it all back into the batteries and we're just running off sunshine pure sunshine people and while the house is running off sunshine and it's there's some massive loads happening here massive loads happening here the, the, the leftover sunshine that we've got the solar panels doing is all going into the batteries so we've got enough sunshine in those to run for the rest of the night the, that's the solar is simple well it's there's a lot of science in it but it's it's basically um it's storing sunshine which is basically converted to energy into your batteries and uh it's just brilliant absolutely 100 percent brilliant why aren't you all doing it it's once you pay for your first system it is a hundred percent free power 100 percent free power all right and we're not talking about power that's, that's just you know oh it might work it might not work i'm talking about reliable power okay lithium batteries are brilliant and i'm drawing massive loads massive loads um, especially during the heat wave absolutely massive uh, i just don't understand why some of you are so adverse to going off grid and solo it's more reliable more depending more 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 dependable uh, more stable okay my, oh, look i don't blow light globes i don't blow anything i don't blow computer power supplies tv power supplies um, the power is so smooth and so stable that comes out of these inverters you, you, the grid can never match the quality of the power that comes out of your inverter it can never match it that's uh, just brilliant anyway that's enough of me uh, rambling on I'll get off my soapbox now you all have a fantastic day I hope you have enjoyed these battery logs and um, uh, you know it just shows what can be done and my system's not a huge system people okay it's it's uh, paneled to run my house efficiently in winter and to run my house efficiently in summer okay so I've got enough panels on my roof to run all my heavy air conditioners everything I want and still charge my batteries in summer and in winter when the sun's not so good i've got enough batteries to run my house and if there is a bit of sunlight coming through the clouds i've got enough panels to make the most out of that sunlight to whack the power straight into my batteries again okay everyone
As you can see, the little birdie's doing fine. Ziggy and I are absolutely fantastic. Um, and the figures speak for themselves. Keep safe. Uh, comment. Subscribe. Ring the little bell. If you want to see more content, I mean, I do lots of different stuff on my channel. It is my channel. It's not just um, a solely commercial channel for commercial business, you know, for me selling shit because I don't sell anything. This is just me and Ziggy doing our own stuff. Um, yeah, some days we do solar. Some days we do little birdies. Some days we do even bees. So you do get the birds and the bees and the flowers and the trees in this channel. All right, bye-bye.